What's going on guys? Got another one here today for a quick little review. 2017 911 Carrera. Not a crazy spec one, but overall it does look pretty good. Sorry that the car is a little dirty, just didn't have time to wash it today. Probably one of my favorite part about these cars. I really like the exhaust dips on these. Um, super beefy, super meaty. Just gives the car an overall a very aggressive look. Um, at least I think. And the taillights, I mean, they're phenomenal. So, so aggressive. It's pretty crazy because I've been driving this car for about a day um, just because we're smogging it for work. But with this car, I mean, it's it's just a 911 Carrera. That being said, 911 Carreras are still very nice cars. Uh, I daily drive an RS3. I get more compliments driving around in this thing than in my RS3, which is kind of weird to me, but I mean, whatever. Take a look at the inside. Uh, I actually really like the inside on these uh, i think they're very very well built i'm six foot over 240 pounds and this thing seats me like a glove button wise you got the uh rear spoiler uh automatic on and off sport mode suspension that opens up the valve just a little bit this does have quite a few options as you guys can see here you got heated and cold seats kind of cool both sides um when we actually got this in, I thought this was aftermarket. I didn't know in 2017 they revamped the media center. Um, just it fits so well, but it looks good. That you can control everything in this cluster with this little turn dial here, tire peep, uh, pressure, trip monitor, navigation. You have a little map, uh, phone, audio, vehicle settings. So your oil temps. I think you can get like boost pressure. Yeah, you can get boost pressure. It only has 13,000 miles, again, 2017. So this thing was never driven. Put it in drive and let's go for a little drive, guys. I'll show you guys some clips. I will say, I definitely understand why people like Porsche. Uh, the overall drivability is just so hands-on and so fun. The maneuvering, the movement, just you feel feel everything in the car in a good way i mean it's it's just it's just too much too fun too fun we'll say after driving my rs3 this thing is pretty slow it does have a little get up but i understand why people like them because of how they drive the overall everything i mean the handling is just phenomenal the car definitely has a feel to it where it feels fast. I mean, it's it's fast. But I wouldn't say fast, it's quick. That That's the terminology I'm gonna use for this. It's a quick car. It's kind of like the new, uh, the new RS5. It's a very quick car. It's not fast though. Um, but again, handles really good. Everyone gives you good looks in this thing. Overall, out of like a 10, interior, exterior, drivability, I'd probably give this thing like an eight, eight and a half. Um, now, if it's a turbo, I mean, that's a whole nother story, like a 911 Turbo S or something like that. But, I mean, that's a massive price bracket difference, too. Definitely a good entry-level Porsche, though, if you wanted to start getting into the Porsche culture, in a way. Um, I mean, it's, it's a fun car to drive, overall. Uh, pretty gets pretty good gas mileage, for the most part. And because it's not a crazy high-line spec, I mean, you don't have a lot of maintenance to do. But the digital, or not the digital, but the whole cluster itself is phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that RS7, guys. Matte Army Green. That's something else. You don't see that every day. It's pretty nice. I mean, this thing gets some pretty good engine noise, too, honestly. Um, like, overall noise in the cabin to where you actually you hear it pretty good. Again, guys, the handling is phenomenal. I can do all this with one hand. Uh, not being said I need to, but... I can. I mean, taking a corner at 50 is pretty nice. Every once in a while, too, when like you you downshift from uh, like fourth to fifth gear around 3,500 RPM, you will hear a turbo spool. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. I like it. It's definitely a good feeling hearing that turbo spool once in a while. And guys, definitely appreciate you guys watching the videos. If anyone's interested in any of these cars that I do reviews on. Uh, Elite Motor Cars in Concord, California um, is definitely going to be the go-to for this. I will put their link in the description down below. It's cars925.com. Um, but yeah, this beauty should be up for sale within the next few weeks. It's just got a 
get a detail and then I think we need like a little tiny part for the rear bumper uh, just because it was all scratched up but yeah guys uh really appreciate it again stay tuned um hopefully if you guys have any specific cars you want to see drop a comment I'll be more than happy to thanks guys later